So what are the best TV shows of all time? A hotly debated topic for sure, but my colleague Barbara Walters set out to find the answers. So there's no news category, Barbara, but did Nightline make the cut anyway? Uh, well, almost, but not quite, Cynthia. Here's the thing, ABC News and People Magazine asked America to weigh in and with a million votes cast by viewers, chose the best television programs in 15 categories from dramas to comedy shows, even the top non-humans like uh, Miss Piggy and Lassie. And tomorrow night from 9 to 11, we are going to take a nostalgic trip with lots of laughs and a few tears. And tonight, a little taste from the best variety show category. It's one of television's most enduring legacies, The Variety Show. The Ed Sullivan Show. The TV sets may have been black and white. You know that I can smile, I get <laughs> The host, a little square. You ain't nothing but... But it was The Ed Sullivan Show that brought Elvis and his swinging hips into living rooms across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! And he was the Beatles' ambassador to America. Of course, the 60s brought with them a cultural revolution, also played out on television. And soon, a woman was hosting America's favorite variety show. One of the big part shows said, variety is a man's game. It's not for a woman to do. I said, but that's all I know and that's all I want to do. And she did it, singing, dancing, and stumbling her way into viewers' hearts. <laughs> and then there's the variety show that has brought attitude to the weekends for almost four decades. Live from New York, it's Saturday night! The sketches are indelible, the lines quotable. Jane Wigner and Slot. Isn't that special? I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Creator Lon Michaels says he saw an opportunity. What was your concept? We were an, a new generation that didn't have a show yet, and I thought if I could get that show on the air, that it would be a hit. And was it ever launching the careers of its cast of one time unknowns? Eddie Murphy. Who told you to say damn it, damn it? Chris Rock. Will Ferrell. <laughs> and of course, Tina Fey. I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> Whose idea was it to do Sarah Palin? America's idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, it was the audience uh, just insisted on it. The resemblance was so remarkable. What was the key to the Sarah Palin impersonation beyond the glasses? She um, s would smile through saying uh, pretty aggressive stuff. You know, the, the, the hockey mom with the pit bull and lipstick, and she was always smiling at you and then turning the knife. Did you hear from many Republicans? I heard from a Republican, m my mom, who by the fourth or fifth one was like, okay, that's enough. At Saturday Night Live, when it comes to poking fun at people, no one is above the fray, including me. I'm Barbara Wawa, and tonight we'll be talking to an actual living legend. Tell me how Baba Wawa came in and ruined my life. I think she did it with affection. Uh, I think there was no malice in it, and it was really funny. It was a huge hit. I remember watching and thinking, ah. and my daughter, who was a little girl, said to me, oh, mommy, you know, be cool. Yeah, no, choose to take it as a compliment. Because it's Saturday Night Live, being cool never gets old. If you like TV, you will love the special, so join us for tomorrow night from 9 to 11, you will have such a good time.